This wave of terror has escalated further, with Pakistan-backed terrorists now intensifying attacks on both civilians and security forces. In a brazen ambush near Gulmark, two soldiers and two civilian porters were killed when an army vehicle was attacked. The surge in violence includes targeted killings of non-local labourers, highlighting the malicious intent behind Islamabad's support for these terror outfits. We have a report. Four separate terror attacks have shaken Jammu and Kashmir in just one week. The most recent attack occurred on October 24, when terrorists ambushed an army vehicle belonging to the 18 Rashtra Rifles near Gulmarg, close to the line of control. Two soldiers and two civilian porters lost their lives in the ambush, while four other soldiers were critically injured and are currently undergoing treatment. According to officials, the vehicle was en route from both Patri, a remote area just 5 kilometers from the LOC, when the terrorists launched their assault. Security sources have indicated that Pakistan's border action team may be behind this ambush. The BAT, infamous for cross-border attacks, has previously carried out brutal operations in Kashmir and their involvement in this latest attack has not been ruled out. जब ये खबर हमने सुनी कि एक गरीब मुश्ताक अहमद चौधरी जो कि होंडी नौशेरा का रहने वाला है इसकी मौत वाका हो गई है ये अफसोसनाक एक बात है क्योंकि इसके घर में इसका वालिद है जो कि कैंसर पेशेंट है इसकी मां बुजुर्ग है और इसको 3 साल का बच्चा है कहां जाएगा वो 3 साल का बच्चा इस स्टेज पे और इसकी इसकी जो बीवी है वो भी बेचारी छोटी है घर में कोई ऐसा सोर्स ऑफ इनकम नहीं है इसके जो फादर हैं उसको महाना लगभग 10 12000 रुपया खर्चा आता है उसकी दवाई पे या बाकी सब चीजों पे आपने देखा होगा वो इस टाइम बिस्तरे में बैठा हुआ है सिर्फ इतना बोलता है कि मुझे ये क्या हुआ मेरे ही साथ ऐसा क्यों लिहाजा मैं इतना बोलना चाहूंगा कि अब तो हद हो गई वही जानता है जिसके घर से उसका बेटा निकलता है जो घर वीरान हो जाते हैं वही इस इस चीज की पेन समझ सकता है तो इस वक्त इसकी हालत क्या है घर में कोई सोर्स ऑफ इनकम नहीं है कुछ भी नहीं है तो मैं हुकूमत को भी इसके साथ-साथ यह कहना चाहूंगा कि जनाब इंसाफ की जरूरत है While security forces have launched counter operations in response to the Gulmarg ambush terrorists have simultaneously stepped up attacks on civilians particularly targeting non local laborers On October 24th morning Terrorists shot and injured a migrant worker from Uttar Pradesh in the Thral area of Pulwama district. This attack follows a horrific massacre in Gandharbal district, where six non-local labourers and a local doctor were killed at a construction site. On October 18th, another labourer from Bihar was shot dead by terrorists in Shopia district. The repeated targeting of non-local workers highlights Pakistan's sinister agenda of instilling fear among those contributing to Kashmir's economy. These innocent civilians, many of them daily wage laborers and street vendors, have become soft targets for Pakistan-backed terrorists whose aim is to disrupt development efforts and create communal tensions. The terrorists in Kashmir want to portray a feeling that you might include democracy in Kashmir but we are going to fulfill our agenda and you are no, never going to be successful. That is the message they have sent to Bharat and the government of our country. Come what may, we all know that these terrorists are being helped with weapons, they are being helped with training by Pakistan. No other country is doing this except for Pakistan. This is a loud and a clear message to Pakistan that Pakistan must immediately halt these adventurous activities that they are trying to play with India. Our external affairs minister, Mr. Jayashankar, also uh, when he had gone for the SCO meet, he made certain things very, very clear that talks with Pakistan only are possible if Pakistan keeps aside the issue of terrorism, point number one. Point number two is if issues of 
Pak occupied Kashmir are immediately solved and Pak occupied Kashmir is handed over to India. This escalation of violence exposes Pakistan's deep-rooted strategy to destabilize Kashmir even as Islamabad faces a multitude of crises at home. With its economy in freefall, political instability rampant and international isolation growing, Pakistan continues to divert attention by fueling cross-border terrorism in India. Rather than addressing its own governance failures and human rights abuses, Pakistan is fixated on keeping Kashmir in a state of fear. The diversionary tactic not only masks its internal failures but also serves to mislead its own population by keeping Kashmir at the forefront of its narrative.